everyone, Human Hard Drive here. Today we're going to be talking about this new series I'm starting, mentioned in the news a little while ago. That is the Electronics 110 series, sticking with the numbering convention here, where Electronics 100 Plus is analog and Electronics 200 Plus is digital, as you'll see with the Electronics 220 video, which will be coming out shortly. So, what is this? This is the next step. This is sort of where I wanted to go with this video thing. This is a more formally defined lecture series. Uh, in the Electronics 101, we sort of just talked about the behavior of a bunch of components. Not really anything concrete, not anything mathy, because math make, sort of isolates people. So what I'm going to try and do here is create that series for the people who know the math and are interested in doing more stuff with the circuits, putting everything together. So we're going to start with a topic that moves into another topic, and we're going to build on things we've learned. So it's all going to be a little more coherently put together. It's all going to coalesce wonderfully. So let's just jump right in and start talking about what we're going to talk about. Uh, the first bit we're going to be talking about is... Oh, pan stopped working there. First thing we're going to talk about is... Ohm's law, and then that's going to slash equivalent. Actually, no, I'm gonna. Oh, pen's acting weird on me. Slash. Clean that up. Slash circuit components. Components. Then we're gonna move into equivalent resistances is going to bring us to Kirchhoff. I'm pronouncing that properly, I hope this time. Kirchhoff's laws, both his voltage laws and his current laws, which we will talk about. And then that's going to bring us neatly into circ the actual circuit analysis. So this is going to be the mathy bit, if you will. This is where, this is the meat of the lecture series. So we're going to be talking about node analysis. And we're going to talk about mesh analysis. And this is going to be for both... Uh, oh, that's a terrible curly bracket. It's a little better. It's going to be for both dependent and independent. That should be an E, independent sources. Again, you'll come to learn what that means later. So this is this first section here is going to be the setup. This is going to be where this is pretty much everything you need to know for the rest of the series. So after that we're going to move on to circuit equivalence meaning uh Norton and Thevenin equivalence. I think there's an accent there. Norton and Thevenin equivalence, and that's going to bring us into op amps. Uh, so we're going to be talking about VCVS and VCCS. You'll learn what those mean later. So that's another section, which is then going to bring us into the time-dependent section. So we're going to be talking about capacitors and inductors. And then we're going to talk about AC analysis. This brings us to with phasers. And there you have it. So this is everything I've got laid out so far for this course in three sections. There is going to be one more section for the more um, math-inclined. And that's going to be... Uh, time-based DC and AC analysis. Um, I say math inclined because, and I'll put this down here, requirements. What do you need to know for this course? Math-wise, Math-wise, what are you going to need to know? For the most basic stuff, meaning everything that isn't for the more math-inclined, so for everything here, what are you going to need to know? 
algebra 2 is pretty much the max math you're going to need to know. So that includes uh, complex algebra, meaning you should know how to solve very complex um, expressions, being able to solve for systems of equations. Um, you should know the uh, quadratic method inside and out. You should be able to uh, factor things in the order of third degree polynomials and fourth degree polynomials. You're going to need to understand logarithms. Logarithms. And you're going to need to understand trigonometry. And you're also going to need to understand imaginary numbers. That's any th that's pretty much everything you're going to need for again the first for these three sections here so Ohm's law to circuit equivalence to AC analysis that's all you're really going to need is algebra 2 uh calculator wouldn't hurt either cuz doing a lot of this stuff by hand kind of sucks okay for the more math inclined when I say that, what do I mean? You're going to need calculus. I'm using my numbering system here. Calculus 4, which is uh, elementary differential equations. Yeah. To do the time analysis in both time ba time domain analysis in AC and DC, you really need to know your uh, elementary diff diff EQs. Um, not going to be doing any partial diff EQs because I don't know partial diff EQs, and to my knowledge, it's not really that important. Uh, elementary differential equations, and I'm going to put this here: the Laplace transform wouldn't hurt either. So, obviously, if you're doing the math client, you're also going to need to know Algebra 2, but Calculus for Elementary Differential Equations and the Laplace isn't going to hurt. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that this course is going to offer. That's what this is going to talk about. Let's talk about some of the stuff I'm going to be doing. Uh, probably the biggest thing, and I know I'm going to be asking for trouble here, is homework. What are these going to be? These are going to be practice problems and of course worked solutions. So I am going to have um, practice problems for you to do. These are going to be things I've come up with or I've found and I will also have a separate video where I go through some of the solutions. Now, I say I'm asking for trouble with this because I know I'm going to get a lot of very specific and, uh, specific questions in the comments and probably in my inbox. So I'm kind of asking that if you have an issue, I want you to try and work through it yourself. If I do it a different way than you do, try and look at the way I do it and see if you can see what I'm doing. If your way makes sense, again, I can't deal with a massive influx of people sending me questions. I don't have the time or the patience to try and go through all of your questions. If you're really stuck and you really don't know what to do, go ahead and send me an email. I'll try and get to you. Um, if you do have a question, uh, pen, there we go, questions, questions, be specific. I want to see your work, I want to see the problem, I want to see what you've done, I want you to try and explain to me as best you can, because you just sending me a sheet of paper with a bunch of scribbles on it isn't going to help you or me. So, be specific. If you can send me a photocopy or a picture of what you're working on, make sure it's a good picture, because if I have to spend time trying to figure out what it is you're saying, I'm not going to answer. So, there's that. So, homework, going to try and do that for every single one of these topics. So, four to five problems on each, and again, a uh, worked solution. That's going to be a video. So, that is it. I hope this series sort of entices the more mathy or the more advanced 
electronics enthusiast who's seen the 101 and wants a little more in-depth explanation as to some things. So, hope this answers a lot of your questions, and I hope you're all going to enjoy this series. I know I'm going to enjoy working on this. So, until next time, uh, I'm Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.